This video is for you. If you are still around your ex and you're trying to make your relationship work again, if you are still hanging out and she kind of friends on you, this is what to do. Sometimes guys ask me, Ben, should I flirt with her? What should I do? Let me tell you a few things. I'm working with one of these guys. His name is Tyler. And what he does is around his ex and they have a kid together as well. They hang out sometimes and he tells me, okay, this is what happened. He sometimes sends me a screenshot of the conversation they have, so I help him with texting. One of the things that he does, because she doesn't want this now, she says, no, I don't want to do it, I, just, I need more time, more time. And he tells me, Ben, should I flirt? The problem with that is, he's not stable. They go out, they went out, it was Valentine's Day, they went out together with the kid, the kid is three years old, they went out and he got very emotional. He said on the way back, I was going to drop her home. I had some tears and I told her, I miss you, baby. Come back. This is so hard. A few days before that, he said, I'll be out. And I told her, look, this is so hard. I want to start drinking again. And when he tells me, he calls me and he said, Ben, what should I do? I said, dude, why do you say that? Why do you tell? Why do you do these little attention seeking things? Now he tells me, hey, Ben, is it okay for me to flirt with her? Look, man, if you want to get your ex back, if you're in a situation that you're around your ex and things like this are happening, if you're friend-zoned and your ex is kind of like doing you a favor by hanging out with you, first thing, dude, don't show any of this weakness. Don't tell her, oh, this is so hard, you know, I cannot wait for us to get back together. Because that would push her away. And if you do that, if you show her, oh, Ben, you know, you know I told her it's so sad, I had tears, I couldn't hold myself. If you do that, then you cannot flirt with her, dude. Like, look at this spectrum of emotions. Here's you being needy and sad and cry and say you miss her. Here's you flirting. You know who has the right to flirt? A dude who's a badass motherfucker. A dude who just doesn't care. A dude who's like, cool, baby, you're my ex. Everything is cool. We go out. You better uh, behave because I'm going to punish you, baby. You know what, that playful, happy, that dude can flirt. Not a guy who cried two days ago. So if you want to go around your ex, if you're friend-zoned, if you don't know what to do around her, first of all, don't show any negative emotions. Second, show her that you are fine with or without her. Usually the person who friend-zones the other person has the upper hand. If you have been friend-zoned, if your ex is saying, I don't want to be with you, dude, don't beg for love. Don't beg for love. Don't, those negative emotions that you have, those emotions that are not happy, positive, like if you have sadness, if you have jealousy, if she tells you, oh, you know, I need to be alone today, I don't want to hang out, don't show her how it affects you because it's going to change. You should look at those all as tests and pass those. So maybe she texts you and tells you, you know what, uh, I don't think you're the guy I want to be with, at least for now. Man, don't jump on that. Let's, let's say, cool, you know, actually, I was thinking the same. I thought maybe you're not the girl I, was, I, I want to be with. This is a psychological war with yourself, between you and yourself. You got to understand everything in this situation is a test. And if you want to be back with your ex, you have to understand your emotions either give it away or help you succeed. If you can channel the negative emotions, and leads with positive emotions and protocols, you can get her back. This is like uh, in between worlds that you're still together, but she doesn't give it to you. Sometimes you have to completely walk away in this situation. It's different case to case. And sometimes you have to just escalate because she wants to escalate. If you're in this situation, definitely message me and I will help you with this because you have to find out what is the right thing to do here. So if you want to... Get out of this friend zone. Number one thing is to be strong, dude. Don't lead with negative emotions. Don't lead with, oh, it's so hard. It's so sad to just be with her, go to mall, and our kid wants to be, wants us to be together, but we're not together. Dude, those emotions should you should keep them out. Don't show weakness. Don't don't threaten her by going drinking. This dude has history of drinking, and that's the reason that caused the breakup. Now he comes and tells her, you know what? Oh, this is so hard, I cannot hold it anymore. I'm just going to go uh, have a shot. Dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? That tells her that, yeah, breakup was a good idea. If you want to be back together, if you want to get out of this friend zone, remember, emotional strength. That's what she needs to see. She needs to see you got it under control. You got control over your thoughts. You're a strong guy. 
what do weak behavior what do guys do what is weak behavior weak behavior is oh this sort of oh, victim mode oh you left me oh i can't believe we lost our family oh baby i regret oh baby i'm sorry oh you're so adorable trying to bribe her don't do any of that stuff dude hold on pull yourself together like a man that's what she needs to see if you want to get out of the friend zone you gotta stop it dude you got to stop this behavior that's, man, you know, uh, only if I can. Man, go on with your life. That's what she needs to see, that you're moving with your life. You're moving forward. I'm not saying go have sex with other girls in front of her. I'm saying move on with your life. She needs to see you are having a direction in your life. You have a plan in your life. You have a purpose in your life, and you're moving forward. I sometimes interview women, and I ask them, what is the most important thing? They say, a guy who, is, who has ambition. That's a really great thing. A guy who has ambition. Now, what is a guy who's in friend zone? He doesn't have a mission. All he needs to do is to get out of the friend zone. And that's really unattractive to woman. Because he makes the woman the center of his world. Instead of having the woman as one little part of his world. You know, you're, you're in the center. The woman should orbit around you. Not that she becomes the center, the sun of your galaxy. You should lead you should go on with your life. You should not bring those negative, sad, weak, emo weak emotions to, to the conversation. Every day waiting. Oh, Ben, what about this? Ben, she sent this. What should I do now? Ben, what should I do? You know what you should do? You should get a life. If you're in that situation, if you have so much time, that 24-7, you're just sitting there looking at your phone, waiting for that thing to happen. It's exactly like an addict who wants his fix. And it's not attractive. So... Make a plan. That's what I give you the calendar in the program. Every day calendar, what to do for the next 30 days. You can extend it for eight weeks. Every day, down to minute, your calendar should be full. You should be doing good things for you. It's a given that you shouldn't do all, any of the self-destructive bullshit behavior, like drinking, like smoking, like hanging out with bullshit people, like going to bar. You should not do that for sure. That's not even a question. And also on this side, you should follow a purpose you should be driven you should set a goal not to show off to her for yourself i'm gonna look the best i'm gonna make uh big biceps i'm gonna get my six packs i'm gonna i don't know i'm gonna change my style i'm gonna look great i'm gonna feel amazing i'm gonna go get massage i'm gonna start a business i'm gonna make i don't know 10k 20k a month I want to do all of these things. You know, the life, the drive, the energy is attractive. What is attractive is not you waiting for her every day to give you another chance. Waiting for her to give you a chance every day. Oh God, is it today? What about today? So if you want to get out of the friend zone, if your ex has friends on you, if you don't know if she's going to give you a chance or not, get busy. This is a secret. Don't keep her as the main part of your life. She should be 10, 20% of your life. Whatever reason you broke up, stay in your life. If she comes to you, great. Be open to her. Be nice to her. Send her all of the text messages that I showed you. Let her come in. That's cool. I'm not saying be cold to her. But don't pick the whole time trying to see if today is the day that she gives you another chance. Because interactions, relationships always find balance. Dynamics always find balance. If you are in a situation that you have begged so much, she knows every day you're not happy with yourself and you're waiting for her to give you another chance, dude, that's not the right path. You should turn around, come back and change the direction because that track that you're on is unattractive. She needs to look at you, she needs to get curious what you're up to. What are you doing? Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you moving forward? So don't be that guy. Don't be that guy who drinks. Don't be that guy who just says, you know what, I don't have patience. I'm just going to go and uh, go to strip club. I'm going to go start dating other girls. And she doesn't give me a chance. Dude, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Make a plan. Give it a deadline. And stick to your plan. If you don't have a plan, I can help you make a plan. Before anything else, download my book. The link is in the description. Read my book. And there, there comes with a bunch of videos. One of these videos is about how to, get in, how to get out of the friend zone. Watch that video as well. If you want me to help you, definitely message me because my details are in the book as well. Don't worry, man. 
I'm going to help you get out of this. Sometimes it takes some time to come out of the friend zone. You just have to do the right thing for long enough until she starts to believe in you and believe that, yeah, you can actually change. So go ahead. If you haven't already, by the way, subscribe to my channel. Like the video if you found it useful. Download the book. And I'll see you in the next video.